Chloe, how do you develop your work using creative thinking? Well, when I'm thinking practically, when I select my size, I like to um, use my um, visual arts journal to say I have an idea or a vision. I like to draw it in like a small scale because this helps um, get a sense of the shape, like the whole overall before you work on large. And when I do start the painting, I like to use a, like a warm colour wash. So this um, helps me judge between my lights and darks. And then I do like a mid-tone, which also helps me judge the lights and darks. And this is a very important development in my process. This is just something I do subconsciously. Conceptually, I don't choose the flower by the name. I choose them by the the condition of the flowers. So I'm not looking for the prettiest one, I'm looking for the one where you can obviously see that it's it's falling and it's it's struggling but it's also trying to show that it still has its energy. So how do you experiment in your work? Oh that's my favorite question. Um, so I do a lot of experimentation in my paintings and also in my drawings. One thing that I Kind of done it's I don't it's kind of subconscious I like to use so as I'm mixing the paint I like to use lots of water and when I put this with like say like the wood or the canvas or the paper it creates an interaction so that I don't have 100% control it's the wood or the canvas that's that has the control and the water and Basically there's no control at all and it's kind of like nature, like you can't control it, it just it flows in its own way and this is, um, you could say it kind of relates to that. When I do this it creates like luxurious, raw, fluid colours and it's just, it's, and it's not something that you can recreate, it's something that you can, it's, it's, yeah, it's, Something that happens in the moment. Yeah, trying to capture like the like the moment of pure beauty, and I guess it all clashes together. It's all very um, open, creates a feeling of like energy and movement. So, what does your studio practice look like, Chloe? Well, every morning I come in here. Well, actually, the day before, I um, sometimes I turn my artworks upside down. And what this does, it provides like a fresh view of the image. So if you're feeling bored or not sure what to do, I just I turn it upside down and then the next morning it's like looking at a different image. And this can really help the thinking creatively. I like to get my visual arts journal and just sketch in like any visions I had in my dreams or in the train. Um, see how that comes out and then I research on my laptop for any refer references that suit that vision so I can get an image online and yeah. <laughs> um, and then when I do get in painting I get my, so I have three palettes just for pigment, um, warm colours and cool colours and another one for glazing. This helps me like just separate my colors and my warms and cools and then for the rest of the day like we just go to classes and then from the afternoon to five o'clock I just spent all day painting but yeah nice that's excellent and what about your stu studio practice at home yeah so um my space isn't as big as this at home I have like a little tiny desk with a broken easel but because like I have like learn from home a lot I'm just used to it and you like this space doesn't really matter it's just like you just have your mind and your hands that's what's important and yeah it, it works oh that's wonderful thank you Chloe